opportunity to gather this day. And everything we do begin with your inspiration and continue with your help. We pray and ask for your guidance throughout this meeting and all of our thoughts and actions reflect your holy will and that you will grant us the grace to make the best decision for our city. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Face of life for pleasure of presentation, we have a presentation on the acceptance of the book donation to Desarrollo Integral de la Familia, which is DIV in Tamaulipas. As you may recall, the last meeting, we donated some uh, books to this organization. It's a very kind organization. They help the needy children. Right. Right. Sure. Uh, so we have uh, Ms. Carolina Padron, obviously, Mr. Pepe Casavaca here with us. Was that through your, your, the governor's, on the governor's behalf? Yes, actually, the, the one requesting it was the first lady of the state of Tamaulipas, okay. which is the, the wife of the governor, Francisco Casas. Yeah. Francisco Casas, okay. okay, perfect. So, bienvenidos a nuestra junta. Is he your see? brother? No, he's my cousin. He's your cousin? No, okay. Okay. I knew he was related to you, but I didn't know whether. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay, so great. We are first cousins. Thank you. All right, awesome. So, it's a great organization. Thank you for what you guys do. Muchas gracias por hacer esos grandes cosas que hacen con esos pequeños. Gracias. Is it Good afternoon, Mayor Commissioners. Uh, we have uh, Commissioner Cabeza de Vaca here present and uh, Ms. Carolina Padron from the government of Tamaulipas to uh, receive the collection of books we, we have from the library. These were donated books. We have about 55 children and young adult books, some in Spanish, some bilingual, and some uh, in English. So she's here to, um, to receive these, these books. We have them at the library, so I'm gonna get them ready for her to go uh, tomorrow and pick them up. Now, is that the only thing you, you donate, is it just books? Is there, do you ever like donate, uh, let's just say some computers that you don't use anymore? Or has that ever brought, brought, been brought to the commission? You, you know what I'm saying? Yes. You know how, yes, sir. You know, we're, we don't usually, Upgrade all the time, but if there's a chance where you you say this, just, I know we have some surplus computers that not necessarily surplus, but the things that we don't want to use for parts. No parts we're not able to produce. No, I, I, I think that would be something we, you know, make us ask the commission that we may consider that we may donate some of the computers that we're not using anymore. You know, so uh, I don't know, Pat Carr, you guys here. I'm going to put you to work, I'm sorry, sir. No, but I guess just whenever you guys have time, maybe they can come back on another date and see what we can, whether it's one or three or five. Whatever it may be. And thank you, Mayor. Thank you on behalf of the Difta Marlipas and Governor Francavata. First Lady, we thank you for the books, of course, first of all. It's going to help liberate the the young children in, in, in uh, not only in Reynosa, but in the whole state of Tamaulipas. And, and your offer, of course, uh, I'm pretty sure you just take the offer, right? <laughs> just, just take the offer, and thank you, thank you so much. It's going to help tremendously, because there's, a, as, as we know, it's a, it's a lot of challenges in the other side of the river, and we are very fortunate to be able to help and connect. I, I was just the connection between uh, both entities, and, and we want to thank you, because you were the first one that came into the play to help our uh, our uh, neighbors in the south. So thank you so much, Mayor Commissioner. It's, 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 it's an honor being here in front of you, and thank you once again. Yes, sir. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Quiero agradecer en nombre de la señora Mariana García, la cabeza de vaca. Este, les mando un saludo y agradezco a nombre de ella y de ella es la presidenta del sistema de en Tamaulipas, que es la institución que se dedica a los problemas asistenciales, ¿verdad? Entonces, este programa, quiero explicarles, es para las casas hogares, que hay muchas casas hogares en Tamaulipas, 
y los niños van a la escuela, pero se dieron cuenta que faltaban libros en la casa hogar y uno, pues, ¿dónde descubre los libros? En la casa. La señora Mariana trata de compensar todo el amor que les hace falta en sus casas y, y puedo presumir que tiene el primer lugar, el libro de Tamaulipas, el primer lugar en todo México, eh, lo tiene la señora Mariana que está al frente de, del DIP. Y bueno, eso significa que ha hecho muy, muy buen trabajo y ustedes hoy están colaborando a ese, a ese trabajo con esta donación. Gracias a Pepe Vaca que nos ayudó a hacer la gestión este, y me dijo, la ciudad de San Juan fue la primera en responder y están muy contentos de hacer esta donación y se los agradezco mucho. Ahorita entendí perfecto lo de que a lo mejor hay computadoras o algo más y bienvenido. Dos veces que sí. me encantaría de venir porque va directo esto a las casas hogares de, de Tamón. Y bueno, muchas gracias a todos y mucho gusto. presentation on the food distribution for a healthy hard drive through hard drive drive through event for the roadmap. Uh, this is an event mayor commissioner that is going to be taking place June the 17th. Uh, roadmap uh, reach out to us about the open mouth facilitating the uh, municipal park. Obviously we can say no. They're going to be here Friday June the 17th between 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. There's going to be uh, a lot of good stuff there for, for the open mouth for pretty much everybody so we urge the community friends, relatives to come over, take advantage of this. Uh, as you know, the times are hard. There's going to be a food distribution and amongst other, other, other things during that day. Yeah. I'd just like to make a comment. I want to thank uh, Maggie Peña and Marty Ramos from the Salvation Army. They're the ones who pretty much uh, spearheaded, they're spearheading this with uh, WellMed. And they did contact the city. They contacted myself as well. So like that with Mr. Hanna, in reference to this food distribution. So my question to you, Chief, and I want to guess, are we okay? I know it's only from 9 to, what was the time? 9 to 12. Yeah, 9 to 12. And it's kind of like a first come, first serve type of deal. So, so as far as the traffic flow and everything, we, we got it all lined up. Correct. We're good? Yeah, I'm going to go in and come out. Yeah. That's it. Okay, perfect. The well met is directing the right, I mean, the well met staff. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Yeah. Salvation Army will be here as well. So they'll be the ones that are going to be giving out the food. Right. Okay. So we, we also are going to be assisting them with IT for the drone, with the pictures and sure. the awesome. right. Any questions? Not. We're good. Go ahead, sir. The next item is under the presentation of United uh, with the Valde Field the Helmet fundraiser event. As you may recall, it's a very touching event that uh, transpired about a couple of weeks ago, maybe three sure. weeks ago. Staff came together and they, they were dialoguing as to how we can assist those needed families that went through that uh, needed event, catastrophic event. And both of the chiefs, they came together, staff members, about what can we do. So one of the things that the uh, police officer from the uh, chief's uh, department, uh, they had the, during the film, what is that called, the Jeepers Club? So they came over, Mayor Commissioners, and uh, it, it was more of our Jeep show. 
they had about a thousand, are you the chief, what was the amount then that the fundraised, a thousand? Thirteen hundred? Something like that, it was about thirteen hundred that they fundraised, and all of this is going to those families that got affected by this tragic event. And also on the other side, um, Archie, Ruben Guajardo, Parks, Utilities, Sanitation, pretty much everyone got together and filled the helmet. And that fundraiser event, uh, it was very emotional because we were there on the streets, and I'm saying we because I was part of that as well, Ms. Brenda and uh, a bunch of people that were, that were here. And uh, emotional because of the fact that people were not, that people were reaching to their deep pockets and see what they had in any type of loose change, a dollar, 20 cents, uh, pennies, uh, quarters, they were giving out. So it was a great event. It was very well organized by Chief. Thank you, Chief, and the staff and, and the other one, people that, that participated. This event, it was for three days. Uh, give or take nine to maybe two o'clock in the afternoon. It was from eight to two. Eight to two. So, uh, the three days you cut it early, I think that was 15 or 30. It was pretty hot out there. And the total that was fundraised, Chief? Uh, $31,000. Uh, Thirty-one thousand three days. to the lady from uh, superintendent's office, the secretary. Uh, she was very impressed with what we did. Uh, we did reach out and asked that we can maybe go to one of the meeting settings. Obviously, at this point, they're not having any meeting settings anytime soon because of what's going on. But she did say maybe some of our elected officials, staff, may, may want to go over and present the check to the superintendent's office. Uh, or, if like or need be, uh, we can also, uh, they gave me a, a bank account mm -hmm. for their deposit and all these monies that have been funded or donated mm -hmm. to them. But along with that, there's a video that I'd like for you guys to see that, 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 that we took over at the, uh, by the front edge. Uh, IT was there helping us out. And we took this one little video of what has been those three days.
Reaching out to us, it's not that we want, you know, being in the streets kind of dangerous, but people were just honking and it was take the money out, you know. And then, I mean, they were reaching out, so it was a good event, and I'm happy for that. Just kind of echo what Commissioner Neto and Mr. Apola mentioned. I want to appreciate every single one of y'all for for stepping up to the plate and. Uh, really getting involved and getting your staff involved as well. Because like Chief mentioned, you know, this is a real, real sad situation, you know, what happened up there. And uh, I still ask, you know, that you and your families continue praying for, you know, the victims, young kids and their families. Because, I mean, it's, it's, it's terrible, you know. And, and this is a time where we really need to appreciate each other. We really need to take care of each other. That's very important, okay? Uh, and I see it, and I see it in every single one of you all. You know, every time when there's a need for something or someone, every single one of you all step up to the plate. And that means a lot to this commission, and more importantly, that means a lot to the community of San Juan. So once again, thank you so much for your service. And thank you for really helping this community out. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Um, to all the volunteers that volunteer, I know they're not here, but hopefully they see the meeting they can hear us. I believe this is something that it came out from your heart. I know that it's hard for us to uh, compensate you guys. Uh, but I believe, I know this question is going to go to the board right here, right now. Uh, I think those of people that were out there at 100 degrees uh, in the sun, maybe we can compensate you guys as a day off. One day off whenever they need it. Uh, I don't know, uh, Mayor or Mr. Vegas, uh, Santiago, what do you all think about this? You know, let's give them a day off whenever they need a day off because it was real hot those three days. I, I completely agree with that. I mean, I'm saying, Mr. Hora, we're, we're friends with all of that. As far as, 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 far as volunteers, we yeah, yeah, have a list of who we can. Yeah, we can. Okay. Do, uh, do we do that as a... We can do it as a motion. You no, can't do it as a motion. I guess what we can do, we'll we can we'll just put it on the next agenda. We'll talk about it. Yeah, because there's no but rush for that, but we can just square it out, I guess. Sorry, Well, I didn't get to say At the end of the day, I think it's up to the decision of Mr. Hora, you know, he's the department head. So if he allows that and compensate you with their comp time or anything, which is a policy that we, we follow, I think we I don't think we have to bring it back to the board. If I'm, if I'm I correct, uh, Council? Mr. Mr. Hoda makes that decision? He yes. makes that decision, Administrator? Perfect. He likes that. Yeah. But with, with that said, you know, I want to thank everyone that did participate, Mayor. Uh, those kind of words go a long ways. Uh, you know, it's a time of need when some of our, some of our partners live in Texas. And we have to help out either be here uh, when we have the Katrina issue that the, a lot of the, uh, Texas are using pretty steps into the plate. And I commend uh, the chief, the fire chief, and every single person that was involved in the situation. I wasn't here at the time. I was out of town with, with a family. But, you know, it, it, it takes good it takes good pride to, uh, to give a, a helping hand to individuals that have these tough incidents that occurred. I want to thank everyone, one of you guys, and I'm pretty sure your family appreciate it. I know the, the city of San Juan appreciate it, and I'm pretty sure about they will appreciate every effort that every every single community has done for them. Uh, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart, and God bless you guys, and God bless you, Robert. Guys, very much appreciate it. Uh, I said this stuff with the, my family, my mother came down, uh, but 
uh, all the volunteers, I mean, I mean, for that amount of money, Chief, uh, and what y'all did, I know y'all did it in a, it wasn't just a planning thing. Y'all did it just quick off the whim, you know, that hot, let's go real quick. And for, for that much organization to go back, it means that everybody was working together. So that's what we pride ourselves on. Y'all working together, I mean, there was no answers for buts. It got it done for the way it was supposed to be. And we all feel the same way. We all have our hearts in this. So it's a gratitude, it, it, it's showing gratitude to you guys, to the staff, every single one of our administrative staff. It start, the ball starts right there with you guys and the city manager on down. So kudos to you guys as far as from us and the board and the commission. Job well done, thank you. Thank you. I guess in reference to the day off, you know, uh, I have no problem, I, I really do. You know, you guys deserve it, but I'm just gonna make this clear that I know we have several, we have employees for some reason that can't be out in the sun so long, they can't be standing. So instead of just giving the volunteers, I'd rather give the, every employee a day off. Because I know for a fact that they did contribute so somehow, somehow, every single employee somehow contributed and, to what we saw. And, and, and let me echo that, that. You're absolutely right. There were some employees that could not make it, but they gave a little bit. So, to, so, to so I guess the point we, we can maybe look into, sure. yes, every employee, you know, you just choose, I guess, however you, however you guys want to set this up, or Everybody however we're not. Huh? Everybody the same time. No, 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 no. no. Can't be at the same time. What is the life? You guys want it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She'll always tell you what to do. That's why I don't mess with now, her. Now we took the initiative with Miles and I still don't mess with her. I don't mess with her. She, she do what she tells you. the uh, day-to-day -day duties, I mean, they were overwhelmed with what was going on. 
So they reach out to the cities, different cities, so a lot of, a lot of entities will get very involved in the supply process. Good. Thank you. Yes, sir. So continuing on, Mayor, yes, Commissioners, we have a presentation on departmental reports. So now we have the Department of Planning and Zoning, Department of Parks and Recreation, Department of Sanitation, and some one more library. Everybody's here, available, if you have any questions for them. Any questions for the directors at this time? Mr. Garza, how are we doing with them? How's the progress? Are we, are we doing all right now? We are always doing all right, don't get me wrong. But, uh, we're 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 seeing, uh, short on manpower. I got equipment that I haven't been able to move because we're very short on manpower. Uh, unfortunately, we lost some guys that went to better paying jobs and, and I haven't been able to replace all those guys. But we're in the process. I lost the secretary uh, that moved to a better paying job, of course, and of course followed her husband to Midland, Texas in the oil field. So uh, I'm sure the secretary, she was kind of the multi tech uh, tax doing taxes, you know, and stuff uh, for me and preparing budget, you know, and where the money was at. Uh, most of the city hall knows her. She had been uh, with utilities before, so uh, it's been hard, but uh, we, we're progressing on uh, potholes and we're progressing on the rush. Uh, every day it's the same situation. We're doing fine with everything else. It's just that's the hard end. And I know there's some major manpower from the major commission, you know, Mr. Hona. Not the budget time around, but that we need to consider what we're doing based on the machinery we have. We're working right now. Utilized, not being utilized, period. I'm working right now with uh, Mrs. Cordero, and uh, we kind of uh, brought up, it's, I kind of had to move forward uh, for the uh, Texas uh, workforce solution. I think it's 80-20, uh, am I correct? Say about 20. Well, they provide the... Uh, they provide the manpower. We, we only pay the... 20? 20%. How long is it Facebook, whatever we do, 
maybe it's not getting back to them. I know the old-fashioned way, newspaper, everybody reads a newspaper or grabs a newspaper, they look for job opportunities and boom, it hits. I mean, that's the old way. How about attending the job fair? So we did attend the job fair. No, no. We did. No, no. Uh, attend the one you uh, do the job fair. We, we've attended some. And yeah. I, I know we spoke yeah. about having a jump fair being some one for our employees, I mean, future employees, or jump fair being some one, but we have not had one of those. And that's, that's what we're going to do. We need to do one of those jump fairs or something else. Those are going to be cheaper. Yeah. 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 Subdivision. I guess they have a group called MOU where they make decisions. Like they have a board, and apparently they reported a car that was parked in front of one of the houses. The owner doesn't even know who that car belongs to. And I know that uh, she said they had put a sticker on the car, but then I guess somebody took it off. But the car's still there, and it's been more than a year and a half. And they don't know. It's it's not it's not a. It's not junkyard, it, uh, a junk car, it's a regular car that somebody parked it there. Uh, I told her to get a contact of uh, work, for, I mean, uh, court enforcement. And I don't know what else can we do with that car. That car can be removed from there because uh, even the owner doesn't know who cars it is. It's been there for more than a year and a half. Yeah, something like that. It's a, it's a board of that subdivision. And they make a lot of decisions, and that's the one that we they have a problem with that car. I think it's 1315 Rancho Blanco. Or you got, uh, I think it's Rio Grande Street. I think it's, it's called uh, Rio, Grand, uh, Rio Grande. But uh, let, let me go ahead and uh, get the, uh, the exact address, maybe I'll uh, Send it to you, and then I'll call. I guess for the first. I think HOA has its own, right? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta check with that first. Right. Yeah.
on there. It's on there. Okay. All right. Thanks. Mr. Wahabi is not here. Is Ruby? He's not here. I, I guess this question is for you. I think the last time we spoke about Mr. Hona being here, San Juan Pal in reference to the MOU for the gym facility.
a petition for voluntary annexation and setting dates and times for the public hearings. So uh, and this is pursuant to Texas Local Government Code Chapter 43, Section 43.028 and the City Charter. Staff recommends uh, uh, approval to hold the first public hearing for voluntary annexation petition. This is a public hearing. The division, correct? Yes, sir, it's to uh, annex uh, this uh, three acres of the This time I'm going to go ahead and open this up at uh, 6.41 p.m. Is there anyone here for or against? For or against? Any questions, members of the commission for Mr. Daniel? No? Okay, with that being said, I'll go ahead and close that at 6.41 p.m. Is there a motion to approve? So hold. I'll second that. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, sir. So next time, hold a public hearing in the Casino of the Owners recording a rezoning request to manufacture home district to light industrial district as a property legally described as 4.74 acres of the land out of, west, out of the west pool, 136.4 feet of the south, 509.229 feet excluding the east 75 feet of the south, 150 feet of lot 15, block 6, John Cross Subdivision, as requested by Bonnie Abbott. Mr. Uh, yes, sir. Council, uh, Mr. Juana, uh, this is a rezoning request, uh, as Mr. Juan said, uh, from RMH to light industrial districts along the road tracks uh, just here uh, north of Business 83 moving into our, one of our city parks, um, actually right here. Uh, the property is surrounded by Mobile Home Park, multi-family subdivision to the north and the municipal park to the east. It's a survey of the property is attached to the packet for as far as uh, the fact that we did mail 22 notices out to property owners with a 200 foot radius, we presented it to the Planning and Zoning Commission on June 2nd, 2022, and the Planning Commission voted to deny this request uh, by a 6 0 vote. Uh, staff, uh, we were recommending approval of the rezoning to light industrial because we do have. Uh, cement plant nearby, so uh, that is uh, the staff's recommendation, and we do have city commission's recommendation. And this is a public hearing. And if there's any questions for me, um, okay. I'm going to go ahead and open this up at 6:43 p.m. Is there anyone here for or against? Yes. For or against? What was that? And this is a property that's uh, right across the railroad tracks to the left hand side. Yes, sir. Which is south of the project. Yes, sir. So I really don't think anything else would maybe go in there. I don't know. I mean, that property's been there since that was in Pampers, I think. You know? so, so I think this is a good thing for the city. And, and what it is, it's a distributor for ice. So we're gonna have a, a, a so now, now when, correct me if I'm wrong, but when when they're de dealing with ice, is there some kind of gas that goes through there or nothing like that? No, it'll be fine. It's uh, actually they have a big uh, things of mechanism to go in there. I really don't know. No. What those things oh, okay. Are. I, I, as far 
No, no, I'll just, uh, I mean, I don't know, that's what I'm asking. Okay. Perfect. Um, any, any other questions? I think I like the idea. I just, uh, you know, like I say, this is good for the city. This is a, a see, it's a very nice potential business coming in. So, uh, any other questions? The only thing I don't, know, I don't see, if, and I don't know if it's going to be the proper question to ask right now, but would it, we be able to look to see what the, 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 the facade of that farm, the, the building's going to look like, or do they have like a sketch of what it's going to look like? Or do we want something appealing on, on the way three, right? But at the same time, there, uh, also with that, uh, I don't foresee an issue either, because if it's trucks, trucks are going to they're, 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 they're going to be in question. We're going to ride on our roads anyway. It's only three Nebraska or, or Iowa. Yeah, and yeah. I think their 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 traffic is going to be early morning hours. I'm assuming. I don't know. Well, do I need to concrete? Uh, right now, at this time, uh, we just have the survey. Uh, okay. But we will. Have you, Mr. Hona, have you seen the rendering on yeah, it? Well, actually, uh, to answer your question, on April 10th, the, uh, there's no facade on it like that, but we got it before the EDC and the technical section right. as to what muscle is going to be the, the facade on that. Right. Uh, is it modern? Is it oh, yeah, it's a modern building. Oh, okay. La fachada del edificio es algo moderno, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, moderno. Oh, okay. That's the question. Sí, es el, eh, mi nombre es Manuel María, somos los de Maran Construction, somos los que traemos la, la obra de construcción. Eh, lo que quieren es algo moderno, quieren algo bonito. Las personas quieren hacer la fachada que esté bonita con sus plantas, ah, sí, ya, ya, sí, 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 que tenga su. Es lo que nos encargaron, que esté la fachada moderna y que esté con okay. plantitas y todo eso que se vea bien. Code, the International Mechanical Code, the International Fuel Gas Code, the International Property Maintenance Code, 
and the National Electric Code is to update and codify the implementing machine through its parcel into the city's uh, code of ordinances providing for effective dates, providing for presentations, providing for codification, providing for severability clause, and providing for recusal clause. Thank you, Mr. Rona. This, uh, this uh, ordinance is, of course, to, to adopt the most codes and standards, which uh, is the most efficient and effective method of creating a safe environment that, protect, that protects and improves public health safety, general welfare, and the economic interests of the community. The most current codes and standards provide the opportunity for cost savings based on the usage of the latest technology and practices. Uh, for example, plastic pipe or plumbing trusses versus dimensional lumber, engineered wood products, and it also assures that products and materials are available in the market and comply with specifications and testing standards referenced in the code. According to the Insurance Service Office, which we were visited by uh, two weeks ago, and we, we've been working with it, uh, communities with well-enforced, up-to-date codes are generally far better in the face of hazards. The current codes are in excess of eight years, which results in lower classification by the Insurance Service Office Incorporated. Failure to adopt the codes would inevitably result in higher insurance premiums for local property owners. Staff recommends approval for the adoption of the 2018 international codes and the 2017 national electric code. At this time we have the 2012 codes, so we're going from 2012 to 2018 on the international codes and currently we have the 2014 National Electrical Code and we're updating that to the 2017 National Electrical Code as well as the 2018 International Swimming Pool and Spa Code. Uh, staff recommends approval. This is a public hearing of the first reading of this. I'm going to go ahead and open this up at 6.52 p.m. Is there anyone here for or against? For or against? Any questions, members of the commission? So just in a nutshell, you're just updating, the, getting the code up to, to standard. That's correct, Mayor. Every, uh, every three years, the codes are, are updated yes. uh, or uh, they come out. Okay. So currently, we're utilizing the 2009 property maintenance code, 2012 okay. building code. So we're going to 2018. Right now, the 2021 codes are already out. So. Everybody, pretty much Edinburgh, all the surrounding cities have the 2018 code. So we're just. So how soon do we need to come back and uh, look we'll, at the 2021 code? Oh, that uh, well, we have some time. Okay. Yes, sir. All Absolutely. Right. No, that's only thing. I have any other questions? I think tomorrow. Now I'm going to close this at 6:53 p.m. Is there a motion to approve? We make a motion to approve. Uh, the uh, I'll go ahead and second that. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The next item on discussion for the election, we have considered authorized the city manager to declare various items of salvage and surplus property. So that's it. So we, I don't have the whole package that you can text on that. Texas local government. One vector mosquito trader, light power, one 
clip, wood clipper, one front loader attachment, one bumper pull trailer, one jet ski, an 18-wheeler drive box, one four-wheeler, and one pressure washer with trailer. Authorized by the city manager of Paraparish items and salvage and surplus property. Motion to uh, go up the motion to approve property and another legislative form. So I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see and I'm lost. <laughs> so all these are going to be the surplus? Yeah, you were presented with a, a package and all that. All those items. I've already walked several times. There's only one vehicle that actually turns on, which is a vehicle that belongs to the fire department. It's a red truck. That's the only one that we brought driving. Everything else was either pulled by one of my tractors or pushed. It's one way or another, we got them there. Gotcha. So that's the only thing. And all the trailers that damaged. Do you can't like the trailers, the utility trailers? The utility can't. trailers, we took one out, actually took two out. And we're going to work something out with Mr. Juan and I and, and make something out of them. I did take one other one out before I took it, and we just repaired it. And I talked to the one out that kind of thing repaired it. So the one you took out is not on this list. No, they're not. It's just whatever you want to. Right, so we're going to put some items on there. All right. Say we're getting ready for an auction, so we're to section 551.074 personal matters discuss the appointment employment evaluation reassignment reassignment I'm sorry duties discipline or dismissal of a public officer or employee city manager at this time we will take no action at this time no action with that being said is there a motion to adjourn so move. is there a second 
This meeting has been adjourned at 7.18 p.m. Thank you. For the record.